गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट माई सेल्फ मिली साकला एंड इन टूडे सेशन सब्जेक्ट स्ट्रक्चर एनालिसिस पार्ट वन वी स्टार्ट विथ अवर न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज ट्रेन एनर्जी ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी कवर अवर थियोरी पोर्शन एंड देन वी सॉल्व अवर एग्जाम्पल्स ओके नाउ फर्स्ट वी स्टार्ट अवर थियोरी ओके एंड इन दिस थियोरी पोर्शन वॉट इज स्ट्रेन एनर्जी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज स्ट्रेन एनर्जी दैट आई एक्सप्लेन यू and then we derive derivation for different type of loading okay first of all for definition of strain energy when a body is subjected to gradual sudden and impact type of loading body will be deformed okay and this deformation will be stored in a body if this deformation is within elastic limit again i'm repeating you when a body is subjected to gradual sudden and impact type of loading body will be deformed and work is done on this body and this deformation must be within elastic limit okay and after deformation some energy stored in a body and this energy is known as a strain energy okay clear energy is a uh, stored in a body during this deformation period it is known as our strain energy okay concept is that when our body is subjected to different type of loading because of this loading body will be deform and this deformation within elastic limit and this process of deformation some energy stored in a body and this energy is known as our strain energy that means when body is subjected to load that means work is done on body okay that means strain energy ultimate work done okay here i take a two example in first example we can see that this spring is in static condition and first i apply compressive load and second we stretch the spring and this compression and tension force is given within elastic limit and both process in first compressive and second tensile force tensile process some energy is stored in this spring and this energy is known as a strain energy clear in second figure the bow and uh, arrow is in static condition and in this second figure here it is in stretch condition and after stretching this bow and arrow some energy is stored in this bow and this is known as our strain energy okay strain energy is depend upon our elastic condition within elastic condition the energy is stored in a body ultimately it is known as our strain energy okay now one by one we discuss some definition first definition is our resilience okay total strain energy stored in a body it is known as resilience okay and u is equal to sigma square 2e into volume sigma is equal to our stress e is equal to our reynolds modulus and v is equal to our volume volume is equal to our area into length okay now second is pro resilience maximum strain energy stored in a body at elastic limit okay here the important word it is elastic limit okay must maximum strain energy stored in a body at elastic limit it is known as our proof resilience and notation of this proof resilience it is up and sigma e square divided by 2e into volume sigma e is equal to our stress at elastic limit okay and v is equal to volume volume is equal to area into length now the last definition modulus of resilience that means maximum strain energy is stored at elastic limit per unit volume okay this strain energy is stored at elastic limit per unit volume and second condition it is in elastic limit okay and this is known as our modulus of resilience and equation of this modulus of resilience that is um um is equal to notation then sigma e square divided by 2e because per volume that is volume volume is cancelled and sigma e is equal to our stress at elastic limit okay here we discuss our three definition 
First definition is our resilience that means total strain energy. Second is our proof resilience that means maximum strain energy at elastic limit. And third one is our modulus that means maximum strain energy at elastic limit per unit volume. This is the difference between three definitions. Okay. Now our first derivation strain energy due to gradual loading. For that here I take a first figure. In this figure we can say that this bar is given. Length of this bar is equal to L and this load P is applied gradually. Gradually means slowly, slowly. Okay. Gradual load that means this load is applied on any object, any body on gradually. That means little bit slowly, slowly. Okay. And deformation due to this load P applied gradually on this bar is delta L. One by one P is equal to gradually applied load. L is equal to length of bar, A is equal to cross section area of this bar, delta L is deformation due to this load, sigma is equal to stress and E is equal to Young's modulus. Okay. When we apply this load on this bar, bar will be deformed and here I draw two figure. First figure is our load deformation diagram and when we apply load on bar, the bar resist this load and second diagram is our resistance deformation diagram when we apply load as a gradually the bar resist the load at average so first figure and second figure here i draw average okay this is our load deformation diagram and this one is our resistance deformation diagram first case work done and in second case work stored because in first case we apply the load so work done on the bar and second case given bar is resist the load that means this is our work done after work done this is the case of work stored okay now first work done on the bar that is equal to area of this load deformation diagram now area of this load deformation diagram that means load P and delta L. So area of this load deformation diagram ultimate we consider this triangle shape and here 0 to P and 0 to delta L. Okay that means one half P and delta L is equal to deformation. Now work stored in the bar that means we follow our second figure that is resistance deformation diagram and here I take again area of this resistance deformation diagram that is equal to one half r into delta l okay now sigma if we write down sigma then sigma is equal to resistance divided by area because resistance is nothing but that is our load okay in first figure p load and second figure our resistance r is equal to load and if i write down resistance in term of stress is equal to area into stress clear this concept okay now ultimate this work done is equal to this work stored okay now compare work done is equal to work stored work done is equal to one half p into delta l and work stored in a body is equal to one half a into sigma into delta l from this left and right side this delta l this delta l cancel this one half and one half is also cancel and the remaining term is p sigma into a here we find out a value of stress for gradual load so i make sigma as a subject sigma is equal to p by a this is our first stress due to gradual load clear First we draw the figure and apply gradual load and bar and then we draw two figure of deformation. First is our load deformation diagram. Second is our resistance deformation diagram. In first figure work done on bar and in second figure work stored in a bar. And this work stored is nothing but that is our strain energy. Okay. And after comparing these two values, we get sigma is equal to P by A. And this is the stress due to gradual load. Clear? Now, we find out value of this strain energy from this gradual load. Strain energy, that means work stored, is equal to 1 half R into delta L. Now, what is the value of R? R is equal to stress into area because R is nothing but that is our load. 
and this load is equal to stress into area now value of strain is equal to delta l by l that we already studied in mos okay now if i make a delta l deformation as a subject then young's this is strain into l okay and young's modulus e is equal to ratio of stress to strain here the different equation is given now one by one i use this equation here r is equal to stress into area into delta l now sigma into a this delta l is equal to young's modulus into l that down here young's modulus or uh, sorry this is our strain into l strain into l now here if i make a strain as a subject then strain is equal to stress divided by young's modulus put this strain is equal to stress divided by young's modulus okay finally one half into sigma into area then strain is equal to sigma by e into l now one by one sigma and sigma that means sigma square area into length area into length and one by e this area into length is nothing but that is our volume okay so write down here final equation of this strain energy due to gradual load is equal to 1/2 sigma square divided by young's modulus into volume okay here our derivation of gradual load is complete now we derive strain energy due to sudden load okay for that again given bar subject due to sudden load sudden according to its name load is applied suddenly on given object given body or given bar okay here i take a one uh, two figure here in first figure again load is applied suddenly on the bar so here total area subjected to this sudden load and after applying this sudden load body resist this load averagely if every load is registered by a body in average okay may be possible sudden impact actual bending torsion in all cases body resists the load averagely and when we apply load it is different condition okay in gradually first apply it is average here we apply sudden that means overall overall body subjected to this sudden load okay now first we compare this is the case of work done and this is the case of work stored okay now first of all we compare this work done with with this work stored now work done is equal to load deformation diagram area of this load deformation diagram here the figure form that is in shape of rectangle and what is the area of rectangle that is p into delta l so work done on the bar is equal to area of load deformation diagram that is p into delta l clear this is the different case of sudden load compared to gradual load gradual load is act as a averagely and sudden load is in case of work done act as a rectangle okay now work stored in the bar that is equal to area of resistance deformation diagram 1/2 r into delta l because here the figure uh, form in triangle shape so we take area of triangle 1/2 r into delta l what is the value of r because r is nothing but that is our load and load is equal to stress into area area into sigma into delta l okay now compare this work done into work stored p into delta l 1/2 a into sigma into delta l this delta l delta l will be cancelled from left and right side and the remaining term is equal to 2 cross multiply here the so 2p sigma into a here again i make a sigma as a subject because finally we find out stress due to sudden load okay so sigma is equal to 2p by a and this is the strain energy this is the stress due to sudden loading okay this one is a stress due to okay not a strain energy but this is a stress due to sudden load okay and this stress is a twice of gradual load okay and strain energy due to this sudden load is same as a gradual load that is sigma square twice c into volume okay here in today's session we discuss some theory portions like definition then derivation of gradual load and sudden load and next session we derive next derivation 
strain energy due to impact load and second is our axial load just now we stop here okay